Hello friends, in today's video, we shall discuss the welfare analysis of negative externalities. We have seen the impact of negative externality in the case of automobile market and how it is internalized through Pigovian taxes in the previous video. In this video, we shall see how the total welfare that of the consumers and producers change when taxes are imposed upon the automobiles to internalize the negative externality created. Welfare analysis of externalities is an economic tool for evaluating the impact of different policies or changes in market conditions on the welfare of different groups within society, usually consumers and producers. Let us use a diagram to explain this. Now, this diagram shows the market for automobiles with no externality accounted, where QM is the equilibrium quantity and PM is the equilibrium price. The area under the demand curve, that is triangle A, shows the total net benefits for the consumers, which is called the consumer surplus, representing the difference between their willingness to pay and the market price of the automobile. The area above the supply curve, that is triangle H, shows the total Total net benefits for the producers called as producer surplus representing the difference between their marginal cost and the market price of the automobile. Thus, in the absence of externalities or when unaccounted, the net social benefits of the automobile that is the welfare of the consumers and the producers from the automobile market is maximized which is represented by the area A plus H when the market is in equilibrium. In the presence of externalities, the net social benefit of the market can be defined as the sum of consumer and producer surplus minus the external costs. When external costs are considered and are internalized through taxation on the firms, the supply curve shifts upwards which is the social marginal cost curve. It becomes the new supply curve and it is based on the amount of external damage caused per automobile. The new equilibrium price is P star which is much higher than the original price PM and the new equilibrium quantity is Q star which is much lower than the original quantity. QM. The vertical distance between the social marginal cost and the private marginal cost is the externality damage per automobile incurred for each automobile sold till QM. So now the consumer surplus at QM is more specific represented by the area A plus B plus C plus D and producer surplus at QM is E plus F plus G plus H and the total externality costs are given in the parallelogram as C plus D plus F plus G plus H plus I, which is a vertical distance between the original supply curve and the new supply curve with tax. Since externalities represents cost, it needs to be subtracted from the total market benefits. Hence, the net social welfare of the unregulated automobile market will be A plus B plus E minus I. Since the Pigovian tax is imposed, we saw that the market price of each automobile has increased to P star. Now, the new consumer surplus is triangle A, which is less than the original consumer surplus plus A plus B plus C plus D. It shows that taxes have raised the price of automobiles which has decreased its demand and welfare among consumers. For the producers, their total revenue is calculated as P star times Q star which is represented as B plus C plus E plus F plus H plus J. Producers' profit is calculated as revenue minus costs. Here, producers have two costs. Production costs, that is the area under the original private marginal cost curve J and the other cost is tax per automobile sold till Q star. That is the difference between P star and P0 represented by the area B, C, E, F. Now this is also the vertical distance between the private marginal cost curve and social marginal cost curve at quantity Q star. Hence, subtracting these two costs from the total revenue, we get the area H. Here, the producer surplus has also decreased to area H. Now the externality cost from Q star quantity of automobile is CFH. So to determine the net social benefits with Pigovian tax, we add the consumer and producer surplus with the tax and then subtract the externality and we get the area ABE. Here, the externality damage associated with production between Q star and QM or the area DGI have been avoided because if an additional automobile is produced beyond Q star, then the marginal social cost will be greater than marginal benefits. The tax 
burden on consumers and producers depends upon the elasticity of demand and supply for the automobile. In this example, we can see that the consumers and producers bear almost the same tax burden. We know that the total tax paid per automobile till Q start is the area B C E F. The amount of tax that consumers pay for an automobile is given by the area B C, while the amount of tax that producers pay for an automobile is given by the area E F. In conventional economics, the area D plus G is termed as dead weight loss to the society in pure economic terms. As the imposition of tax is reducing the production and consumption of automobiles, thus creating a loss to the economy. However, this dead weight loss is actually a gain in environmental economics because the reduced production and consumption of automobiles mean less pollution and other environmental damages, and thus contributes to the overall societal well-being when considering health, ecological sustainability, and other non-economic factors. If you like the video, do subscribe to my channel and share the videos to maximum. Thank you.